welcome back to the Carpathian Mountains in southwest Ukraine. We are on our way to a place called Rahiv, which is supposed to be like a traditional Carpathian town. Very interesting to see. So we've just rolled into Rakiv and we seem to get here right at the time there was a big parade through the city centre or town centre. It's an orthodox march for something in the Christian calendar at this point but we're not quite sure what it is. But yeah, it was a bit of, bit of luck in terms of the time that we got here. Interesting. Interesting sure. to see. Yeah, yeah, yes, спасибо. А, даже? Вот. So we had a walk around the city and it doesn't seem like there is much going on in the Rakhiv. Um, we took some cash out because we need to pay for the guest house or wherever we're staying, wherever we're booked. Anywhere pretty much we've been in Ukraine, you need to pay cash. We managed to find <laughs> the cash points, which found three. Two of them were broken, didn't have money. So now we're heading back to the car and off to our next destination. Right, feels like we've traversed over some of the worst roads in Ukraine to get here. <laughs> We're bouncing all over the place, but it's worth it. Welcome to the geographical center of Europe. Let's go have a look. Okay, we weren't quite there. Now we're getting up right to the center of Europe. So there is a Soviet sign that says something along the lines that this place it's got historical worth and it's protected by the government and that's pretty much it center of the europe done let's go and find the place that we booked for tonight 
So, just before we leave, we just picked up some kwas. We fancy the drink. But to be honest, this is a really light kwas. It's the first time I've ever seen it this light. This oh, is this with honey as yeah, well. Yeah, with honey, so it seems really interesting. Obviously, we're going to give it a try. <laughs> no way! No way! What? Oh, it's lovely. So, for those of you that don't know who, what qua, who quas is, <laughs> who's quas? My mate. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know what quas is, it's like a, a hops-based drink, isn't it? <laughs> Eastern European kombucha. <laughs> yeah, it's the Eastern European kombucha. So it's like a fermented hops drink. I think it's a similar process to to like beer. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just so. ever so slightly alcoholic, isn't it? It's like I think half a percent or even even less alcohol. Um, and this, yeah, this one's with this one's with honey, and that actually tastes a bit like cider, doesn't it? It does. Do you think? Yeah, it does. Sounds like in yeah. tastes like English cider. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cheers. Now let's go. Thanks, Center of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> So as fate would have it, we've just booked a guest house in a village here in the Carpathians tonight. And the village is called Kwasi. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> found the place we're just pulling in to park the car. just went for a walk around the village. Are you coming? So Kwasi is on the main road between Rakiv and Bukavel. So we've sort of come back further north and yeah, smack bang in the middle of this beautiful valley. Yeah, such a beautiful setting. Dobry wieczór. Если людей там ходят, мы будем сказать, что вы тут продаете что-нибудь. До свидания. До свидания. The best thing about villages in Ukraine and around the Carpathian is that the houses are all different colours. They are so bright and they all look so different. Just walking around staring at people's houses. <laughs> Not staring into the window. <laughs> Maybe we are a bit.
Let's go and grab some dinner. Oh yeah, we're going there. <laughs> Banosh, or banush, which is a Carpathian traditional dish. It's a corn porridge made with cream. We had it with brinza, which is cheese made out of sheep's milk. Let's head back because we've got a lot of work to do. The guest house owner just made us some herbal tea. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one!